Hey guys, so really in today's video, I'm mainly going to be addressing the whole demonetization, like big YouTube change thing that was going on. Um, so yeah, I mean, really, it kind of caught me off guard, to be honest, because I really hadn't heard anything about it. I didn't know what was going on. And it's kind of one of those, you end up watching video over video over video, just random things, just, you know, browsing YouTube and stuff. And then I saw one video about it. So I clicked that, but then there was more and more and more. And I kept going through and, you know, I really wasn't watching the whole thing with these videos, but you know, as soon as I saw that, you know, my heart kind of sunk like, oh man, what's going on? You know, they talked about receiving an email. So I immediately paused their videos, went scrolling through my email because I'm normally pretty good about going through every single email and uh, making sure that it is not spam just because it's in the kind of promotions folder. Uh, but when I went back, I couldn't find anything. So I was like, okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I already deleted it. So that set in a whole nother round of panic. And I was like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and actually watch these videos and make sure um, I know what the whole story is. I know what's going on. So basically, if you have not heard, there has been a big change with YouTube that is apparently designed to, how did they word it? Basically protect like creator uh, content, I guess have stricter guidelines. Um, to be honest with you, it seems like some of it may be for profit. That's just my opinion, but hey, I'm just letting you know where I stand. So those of you who don't know, basically there's a new requirement now for YouTube channels to receive monetization, which basically means, oh my God, y'all, there's this giant bug. Okay, we'll just cut that out of the video. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, okay. It just fell down. Whatever. Um, but basically, <laughs> there are new guidelines now that require every channel to meet certain criteria before it can be monetized. Now, when we say monetization, that means the ability to make money off of your channel through ads being placed in your videos. So even the ads that are skipped or whether somebody actually clicks on something that's in one of our videos, we can make money off of that. I say we because my videos are monetized. I'm sure you notice the ad you have to skip through or that you know can kind of pop up. Um, so that's been an awesome way for some people to try to make money. Now, to be honest, I don't really make a ton because my channel is not one of the bigger channels, but whatevs, okay? So pretty much in order to reach that status before, you just had to have a certain amount of page views. Um, for me, I know this because I just checked, but I have about 190-ish thousand page views, you know? Um, but it was something further back, I think it was like 10, 20, maybe even 50,000, I'm not sure. But when I hit that, YouTube let me know I was eligible. So that's how I originally got my eligibility for monetization. Now they have apparently changed it to where you have to have a minimum of a thousand subscribers and over the past year you have to have had 4,000 hours of watch time, which breaks down to about 240,000 minutes because, and the reason I break it down to minutes is because under your analytics page, for the, those of you who are smaller YouTubers, it does break down um, kind of what your watch time is and you can judge it by the past month, 90 days, year, however you want to break it down. So that's the new criteria. Now I knew for me that I met the criteria when it comes to the thousand subscribers because I have about like 2,900, but I was really, really nervous when it came to the watch time. So, you know, I go through taking that deep breath, go to my analytics page and where you have to have 240,000 minutes, I had about 350,000 or something like that. So I was in the clear by about a hundred thousand minutes. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I felt really relieved because although I don't make a ton of money, it's an awesome way to earn a little bit of extra income as well as, you know, it helps when it comes time to reinvest into things into this channel, you know? I don't know, I don't do anything particularly fancy. Like I said, I haven't made a ton of money, but you know, it is what allowed me to buy my tripod, you know? It's what has allowed me to, you know, invest in certain products or try new things and just, you know, really um, done a lot for my life, even though it's not a whole lot. Um, but you know, I think the biggest problem that people are having with it. And even one thing that kind of, I feel kind of bugs me a little bit is the fact that this isn't just the new criteria for up and coming YouTubers who haven't obtained monetization yet. They're actually revoking the monetization privileges for people who already had it, you know? Um, so you may have YouTubers who've been on quite a while, already obtained monetization a long time ago. Maybe they meet the subscriber requirements, but this year was maybe a little rough for them and they weren't uploading as many videos. So they don't meet the watch time hours. So they're losing their monetization. 
And then you have other subscribers who are somewhat new, um, not subscribers, new channels that are, they're new, but they have a lot of page views. They um, definitely have a lot of watch time, but they don't have enough subscribers, you know? And all of these people have basically been given about a 30 days notice to, hey, meet our new criteria or you're losing your monetization. And so what it does is it creates this atmosphere of disrespect for a lot of the smaller YouTubers who are trying to build up their channels and reach their goals. Um, not to mention the amount of money that we're actually being paid out in comparison to the work um, and the content being put out is very low, you know? So the fact that they're taking this away just seems kind of like a power play and a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, effort to maintain funds. I mean, when you compare that to the percentage that, you know, YouTube is likely getting compared to what we're actually getting, it just seems kind of unnecessary as well as, you know, maybe if they want to try to protect creator content or whatever the phrasing was, you know, maybe observing and going into a lot of those larger channels where you're having more of these issues of uncontrolled content and going that route. Now, the other thing I noticed, and I don't know if any of the other YouTubers have had this problem, is certain videos that I've posted, I'll monetize them and it'll hit me with a notification or like a little yellow symbol saying that basically some of my content has been flagged for not being um, adhering to YouTube standards. And that really struck me because it'll be the most random videos, you know, and anybody who's been on my channel a while, you know, I don't record anything super obscene, very graphic, um, disgusting. I don't necessarily curse a ton in my videos, you know, uh, I don't do any nudity. Like I don't do any of that. So it's really surprising that some of my videos were being flagged but then you have stuff like Logan Paul's whole thing that kind of slipped through the wire somehow. And it's just, it's kind of interesting that that happens, you know? So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with all these changes or why that needed to happen, but a word of encouragement to people still up and coming, don't give up on your dream and don't give up on what you want to do for your channel. Uh, unfortunately, there is going to take some more work to get you to that place, but I think that's a, a prime like this is an opportunity for a lot of the smaller YouTubers to band together and show support and solidarity solidarity to other people's channels, you know? So if you have a smaller YouTube channel uh, that you would like to build up, you know, please feel free to comment your channel below to comment um, a little bit about it. And hopefully people will band together, even going through our own comment section and watching those. And I'll do the same myself. You know, so I got this idea from another video I had watched where he was basically talking about building up the smaller channels. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is, you know, that smaller channel support for one another. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to encourage you guys because even on the days where you feel like maybe nobody's watching if you're even making a difference for at least a couple of people that's important you know not all my videos get a ton of views but it really makes my day when people comment and say oh thank you for this or this was super helpful or you know this was really great that kind of thing at least you know you're touching somebody and regardless of what the money says it doesn't mean that your content isn't valuable and that pre people don't appreciate what you're doing so i just wanted to let you guys know that i was not affected by the monetization at this point However, if the standards change again, there's no telling what that's going to look like for me. Uh, but, you know, I'm still here for you guys. And if you, there's anything you need my help with or that I can do to support, just let me know. Um, and once again, guys, thank you for watching my channel, my videos, and continuing to support. If you have time, please feel free to, to subscribe to my channel so you can continue to be notified when I get more videos up. Um, and also like this video and share it for others who may be kind of confused about what's going on with the demonetization thing. All right, guys. Bye.